How's it going everybody? Andrew Robinson here, back at it. Finally time for another cool instrument making thing in Max MSP. I don't know what we're building, but it's gonna be something with this. Now, this is gonna be a little different because every video I've done so far with this, uh, they've been real instruments. It's been a bongo, a harmonica, and a guitar. This, this here is gonna use MIDI. So it's gonna work slightly differently than everything else, which is gonna be a fun challenge. Also, the second challenge is, this is already a really good musical playback device. I have to make something that I think is even cooler and more fun to play. How I'm gonna do that exactly, I don't really know. So the very first thing I had to do was read in the MIDI data from the DJ controller. And we can do that easily by using the MIDI in and MIDI parse object. It gives us all the MIDI event messages we need, which we can then route out to do whatever. It's just a matter of pressing buttons and figuring out the correct integer values. I also decided I wanted to use some of the new audio objects from the latest Max update, such as the phase groove and subdivide object. Phase Groove allows us to do easy variable rate playback of the Groove object, and so with some timer magic, we can tap out the tempo from a button press and set that to be the speed of the Groove playback. I decided to make this the shift button on the DJ deck because of its central location to each side of the deck and because it's a very sturdy, tactile button. With that set up, I then programmed the shift button to randomly change to the next sample. I like the idea of it being randomly selected sample because it adds to the challenge of the instrument. It's like a box of chocolates. You don't know which sample you're going to get. And as the performer, you got to learn to do your best with what you're given. The smart performer would probably just pick all beautiful musical sounding samples, but not me. No, I am using the sample folder of animal sound effects and laser sounds, which happens to be the same one I used for my guitar project. On to the next goal, the much more important goal of getting everything to loop. My first thought was just to test connecting the groove output back into the record output, which did work. However, it doubles the recording of everything. Which is bad. So I had to really use my brain power and try and come up with some stuff off camera to fix the issue. And you can clearly see I didn't fix it. But I did clean up the patch a lot and added some other fun tidbits like cropping the buffer length to the first loop recorded, programming the wheel button to clear the loop, and also a neat little volume slider. All great stuff. However, yeah, I still haven't figured out the looping issue until a few days later the solution came to me. I realized you can duplicate the buffer into a new buffer. So I had the idea to make a second buffer which held the previous recording. The recording would get recorded back into the original buffer with the new sample recorded on top and then duplicate it back into that second buffer and therefore magically no more doubling. that problem out of the way, I moved on to some fun things, like adding a pitch adjusting knob and a reverb knob. I also realized I would need a way to drop hard beats. So in a separate max patch, I started working on a generative drum machine that with the press of a button would create a no new drum beat, which was also in time with the loops I had been looping. This part was actually pretty simple since I had most of that logic already figured out when I was programming the shift button. The real magic in this patch is in the matrix controller, which allows us to easily organize and read out new drum patterns. To create these patterns, I decided to use one of my favorite objects, the eye table, so we could get some easy to adjust weighted probability values to make much more realistic sounding drum patterns. Lastly, I wanted the DJ Whale to be some kind of synthesizer. It's just fun to spin and it's such a big prominent part of the deck and I had to use it for something and I had the idea to make it into a granular synth that referenced the buffer of the looped samples. In the name of efficient and optimal laziness, I just copied and pasted in an old granular synth patch I had and adjusted the code to work with the rest of the patch, uh, but that was enough and then finally it was ready to go for a real first test run.
is not enough though. I have only used one half of the DJ deck so far. I have a whole second half that I can do things with. And if you know me, you know that I do visual animations, real time audio reactive animations. Um, so it makes sense to be a VJ and a DJ at the same time. So I'm gonna make the second half of the DJ deck control all the audio reactive visual stuff so I can run my own lights and make music at the same time. So one more quick copy and paste later. <laughs> Okay, so with all those pieces finally put together in place, it's time to do the final performance. That is the final DJ sample builder instrument project thing. I haven't really thought of a cool name yet, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe learned something about my thought process in creating these projects, or maybe something about Max MSP that you didn't really know before. Maybe you didn't even realize this was a possibility. You just stumbled on this video and you're like, what the heck? And now you're now you are indoctrinated into the Max MSP uh, group. Welcome. Glad to see you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys like this video, please remember to like and subscribe because that's really how I know that uh, you like this video. If you have any questions about the patch or project or anything, please feel free to leave that in the comments down below. I'm also thinking very soon maybe I might do some like live stream sets or something with uh, once I get my setup um, figured out a little bit better. But if that also sounds like something interesting to you, please feel free to leave that in the comments down below as well because I'd like to know if you guys like to see that. And on that note, I will see you in the next video. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye bye